Special thanks to Patreon support of the Red Deer for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, security before here bringing you another Minecraft miscellaneous vehicle tutorial. In this tour we will be going ahead and building the Conquer Class 22 tank. The Class 22 tank is primarily used in its war chapter in Conquer's Bad Fur Day and its remake Conquer Live and Reloaded, used against the Tetis by Conquer. Um, this is obviously from a video game I have actually never played in my entire life, never even heard of the game until uh, this tutorial came through. Um, this tutorial itself is a Patreon request, so I'm going to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter uh, The Red Deer for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount, small amount to the channel every month and earn any vehicle request of your choice. Um, it's much appreciated guys, and feel free to check that out. Again, link is down in the description. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this build. Now it's kind of an interesting looking tank. It's like a standard tank that's been really mushed down. Uh, it's got these really big uh, wheels and you can see it's really short. It stands up tall, short, and it's um, kind of a wide tank too. Uh, overall, it's really interesting looking. Uh, we got the main gun here. It's a very large gun. I don't know obviously what caliber it is. Since it's a video game, it probably has no real caliber uh, really to it. Just a big shell it fires. Uh, we got the front lights here, all that fun stuff, the sloped, or somewhat kind of sloped armor. I can't really say it's too sloped, but uh, armor in the front there. And, uh, you know, obviously the wheels, the tracks here on the sides, uh, all the little detailing, stuff like that. The turret itself, we got a little flag that pops up that's uh, blue, not 100% sure, uh, you know, the uh, origins behind or whatever like that. But, I mean, this could be a fun little tank for any kind of sci-fi or any kind of, like, fun little maps or experimental vehicle who knows that you guys are making um but again big thanks to patreon support red deer for making this tutorial possible anyways let's go and move into the tutorial by starting with our first uh set of layers layers zero through one all right guys so going ahead and moving into our first set of layers we have layers zero through one uh to go ahead and get started here we're going to be going ahead and placing down two narrow brick stairs they're going to be going ahead and being back to back so we want to go and place down one like this and a second stair right next to it after that, we're going to go, ahead and go behind these stairs. We're going to place down a two dark oak put up down stairs like this. And we also want to place down uh, two nether brick full blocks underneath these dark oak put stairs in the ground. From this point here, we're going to place down a nether two dark oak put up down stairs that go back like this, followed by again a nether two uh, nether brick full blocks like that in the ground. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to this space here, place down a nether two nether brick full blocks in the ground, and we're going to do the same thing again one more time. In this On this row right here, we're going to place down a row of two of dark oak put up down stairs. Followed by a row of two of green uh, terracotta across behind those stairs. After those green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down a row of two of narrow brick upside down stairs, followed by two narrow brick full blocks underneath them. After that, we're going to go and take our narrow brick stairs, place down a row of two of upside down narrow brick stairs like that across the back there. Um, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and go to the inside here of the build. So obviously, this is the outside of the tracks here on the left side. And then we want to go ahead and uh, go over to this side. So with that, uh, we're going to go to this dark oak wood stair here. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three dark oak wood top slabs across. And then we're going to go to this uh, stair here, place down one, two, and three dark oak wood top slabs across over here as well. We then want to fill in the space in between these rows of three of dark oak wood top slabs like that. And that right there will uh, basically uh, set that all set that whole section up right there. Um, now with that done, uh, we can go and go to the left side here and also place down a stone button on this green terracotta block. And once that's done, we're going to go and copy exactly what we did over here on the left side over here to this side. So I'm going to go ahead and speed uh, speed up my building just a tiny bit as we have already kind of uh, built the air side. So if I'm going a little too fast for you, feel free to pause the video, take your time, and look at the air side as it's exactly the same as this one. So uh, there shouldn't be any difficulty or anything like that. Uh, transferring it over and we have our last wheel right here in our two narrow breakups downstairs and also don't forget that stone button and uh, with that all done there that will pretty much wrap up our first uh, set of layers layer zero for one with that let's move on to layer two all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer two for layer two to go ahead and get started here we're gonna place down two narrow brick stairs on top of these two narrow brick uh, upside down stairs up here in the front Going back from those stairs, we're going to place down two dark oak wood stairs like this across. Same thing over here. And behind these dark oak wood stairs, we're going to do the same thing. Two dark oak wood stairs like this on both sides. 
After that, we're going to place down a row of three of green uh, terracotta in between these dark oak stairs with a stone button on these two green terracotta blocks to both sides. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down another row of three across in between those uh, green, uh, in between those dark oak wood stairs. We then want to place down a third row of three across like that as well. Once this, once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of seven all the way across, followed by a stone button on both ends of this row of seven and green terracotta. After that's done, we're going to take our mossy cobblestone walls, place down one and two mossy cobblestone walls, same thing over here, one and two, and a row of three of green terracotta. After that, uh, we're going to do another row of seven all the way across, followed by a stone button on both ends like this, and then we're going to place down uh, two narrow brick full blocks here on top of these narrow brick upside down stairs. After that, we're going to place down a row of three of mossy cobblestone walls in between those narrow brick uh, full blocks, and then we also want to place down a zombie head like this, coming off those two mossy cobblestone walls like that on the end here. And uh, with that all done, that is going to wrap up layer two. With that, let's move on to layer three. Moving on to our next uh, layer, we have layer three. For layer three to get started here, we're going to grab ourselves a uh, white concrete block and we're going to place a white concrete block on the screen terracotta block right here in the middle. And on both sides of this concrete block, we're going to place down a green terracotta block like that. After that's done, we're going to place down one and two narrow brick slabs out to the side. Same thing over here, one and two narrow brick slabs out to the side. After that, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across the middle, followed by a row of two of narrow brick stairs like this on both sides. After that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a long row of seven that's going to go all the way across the length of the vehicle. With that done on the sides here, we're going to want to go ahead and go into the creative menu, grab ourselves an item frame, place down an item frame on the end of this uh, green row of seven of green terracotta, and then place down a green terracotta block in the item frame like that for this little support wheel that the tracks roll over. Uh, with that done, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across the middle here, followed by two dark oak stairs to both sides, so just like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of seven of green terracotta all the way across here, so a narrow long row, followed by a stone button on both sides. We then want to place down two dark oak wood stairs on both, Fs, both sides for row three of green terracotta across the middle. Uh, we're then going to place down two narrow brick stairs on top of these two narrow brick full blocks, followed by a row of three of green terracotta in between those narrow brick stairs. And then coming off these three green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down three narrow brick stairs like that coming off the back there. After that's all done, that's going to do it there for layer three. Let's move on to layer four. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started here, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this, uh, this uh, white concrete block, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair here on both sides of that stair. After that's done, we're gonna then take green carpet, place down two green carpets out to both sides like this, and then we're gonna place down a row of three of green terracotta behind those stairs like so. We then want to take our dark oak wood stairs, place down one and two dark oak wood stairs to both sides, and then come off the faces of those dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down an item frame with a glass block on the closest item frames. So the same thing over here. And then a orange stained glass block on the further uh, from the inside there. Um, so just like that for the front there. Um, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, dark oak wood uh, top slabs here. And we want to go ahead and place down a row of one and two top slabs along the side here. Same thing over here, one and two. And then we want to place down two rows of five of green terracotta to go ahead and fill in the space in the middle there. After that is done right there, we're going to take our nether brick slabs. We're going to place down one and two back along the side here, one and two. And then the space in the middle here, we're going to take our green terracotta. And we're going to go ahead and fill that in with green terracotta like so. Uh, once that's done, on the back here, on top of these uh, dark oak wood stairs, or sorry, nether brick stairs, we're going to place down two dark oak wood stairs like this, and we're going to place down item frames along the faces of these stairs. After that's done, we're going to take red stained glass and place down red stained glass blocks in the item frames, like this for the back brake lights. And then we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a sign, and we're going to place down a sign on this dark oak wood stair right here, and same thing over here. Uh, once that's all done there, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of uh, three across here, followed by a row of three of mossy cobblestone walls across as well. Uh, with that all um, before that all done there, that is going to yeah, pretty much uh, wrap up layer number four. And with that, we can go and move on to layer number five. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and begin with, we're going to take dark oak wood slabs and place down a row of what is going to be three across those three green terracotta blocks like so. Behind that row of three, we're going to place down a row of three of green uh, terracotta across. 
and we're also going to grab ourselves an end rod and also a zombie head. Now coming off these, this row 3 of uh, dark oak weighted slabs, we're going to place down a uh, end rod here on both sides, and then on top of this uh, dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a zombie head like that to both ends. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on both sides of this row 3 of green terracotta, followed by a uh, dark oak wood slab like this to both sides of the stair. Once that's done, we're going to place down a narrow row 3 of green terracotta across, dark oak wood stair, like this on both sides, and then we also want to place down a spruce wood slab, like that, coming off the front of the stair. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a narrow spruce wood slab on both sides here, dark oak wood stair again, both sides, and a narrow row 3 of green terracotta to fill in the space here in the middle. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a narrow row 3 of green terracotta across, dark oak wood stair on both sides, and then we're going to follow up by placing down a dark oak wood slab, coming off the front of the stair. Same thing over here, just like that. Um, after that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head on coming off this dark oak wood slab, and a zombie head coming off the spruce wood slab, and an end rod in between them. Same thing over here, just like that. After that's done, we're going to then place down a zombie head coming off this dark oak wood slab, end rod to the side here, and same thing over here, end rod to the side. And then in a space in between, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs, just like that across the middle there. And with that done there, that is going to wrap up layer five. With that, let's move on to layer six. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer six. For layer six to begin with, we're gonna place down a green terracotta block on top of this one right here, followed by a dark oak wood stair like this on both sides. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and then place down a green terracotta block coming off this one toward the front here, followed by a wooden trap door on both sides of this uh, uh, green terracotta block. Uh, coming off it, off that green terracotta block going forward, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls forward, followed by one and two green terracotta blocks forward. We're going to go ahead and take wooden trap doors, place them on the sides of these green terracotta blocks like this, and also on the bottom, same thing over here, just like that. We can also place them on the top, uh, just to get them out of the way, and we can also place them on the top of this green terracotta block as well, just to wrap those up so we don't have to worry about them later. Once that's done, we're going to take our zombie heads, and we're going to place down a zombie head on the back of both these dark oak wood stairs. And then across this space right here, we're going to place down a row 3 of green terracotta, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. We're going to repeat the same row again, so a narrow row 3 of green terracotta across, a mossy cobblestone wall again on both sides. Uh, on the back here, we're going to place down a row 3 of dark oak wood up down stairs, zombie head on both sides, and then we want to place down a row 3 of dark oak wood top slabs along the back there like that. After that's done, that's going to finish layer, uh, or sorry, almost finish the layer. We have one last thing. We're going to place down an item frame on the end here with a black stained glass pane in it to represent the uh, hole there for the barrel of the um, tank gun. Anyways, that right there is going to finish, uh, what is that, layer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's going to do it for layer 6. We have layers 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 to go and put the flag on put the top of the turret and all that fun stuff to go ahead and finish the build. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer 7 through 12. Alright guys, so moving into our final layers, we have layers 7 through 12. Now one thing I want to mention real quick that I threw on uh, onto the build was uh, adding this little nether star symbol as the flag does have like this white star on it. Um, so I decided to throw that on real quick. Um, you know, just a simple little addition there for you guys, nothing major. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and continue on. So for this, uh, we're going to go and place down a row 3 of dark or dark oak wood slabs across this front section here. Going back from this, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair to both sides. After that, it's done, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank here in the middle, green terracotta block to both sides, and then on these two mossy cobblestone walls here, we're going to place down uh, some zombie heads like this, and then we're going to have them uh, very slightly uh, slanted like that, and angles there to kind of create a little bit more flow and curve to the turret. Uh, on the back section here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair coming off the spruce wood plank, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair to both sides. We then want to place down a uh, stair that is facing, we want to place it so that the back of the stair is going against this stair, so it turns into a corner stair, and then we have one and two slabs over. Now on top of these green, uh, uh, sorry, green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down stone buttons here on both sides, and we then want to place down an end rod, or sorry, an iron bar on top of this dark oak wood corner stair, a narrow brick fence post up, a iron bar on top of that narrow brick fence post. We're then going to go ahead and place down a row of two of blue wool, so one and two blue wool blocks. We want to go ahead and then grab ourselves a item frame, 
We're going to place down an item frame on the first blue wool block with a nether star in it. Same thing over here on this side. And then on the very top here of this blue wool block, we're going to go and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull and just place down a wither skeleton skull on top like that. And once you have that all complete, that is going to pretty much finish up the um, class 22 uh, conquer tank. Uh, overall, very interesting build. Uh, definitely something very unique, something different on the channel. So hopefully you guys can all uh, enjoy it and find some use for it. Uh, again, big thanks to Patreon supporter The Red Deer for making this tutorial possible. And if you guys are interested, check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys do end up using this design, I just do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. It's been linked from the sign of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does bring any social media sites. As long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Um, overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and um, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, this this is the end of the video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.